You already know how to find the volume of a rectangular prism like this, but we're going to use our knowledge of that to help us find a formula for the volume of a uh, pyramid like this. So let's take a look at these two shapes. Let's do some comparison. I can see that their bases are the same and their heights are also the same. So we've got a pyramid that's got the same height as our prism and the same base as our prism. But we can see they are not going to take up this, have the same volume. So let's see what we can do to figure out what the formula might be for the pyramid. So I'm going to fill the pyramid with sand. Some nice dry sand. I'm going to get it as full as I can. before dumping it in my rectangular prism. All right, let's fill it up again. And see if two pyramids worth of sand equals the rectangular prism. All right, I can see that we still haven't filled our rectangular prism. So let's fill the pyramid one more time. It's about Look at that. It took three volumes of the pyramid to fill our rectangular prism. So the volume of our pyramid equals one third of the base times the height times the height. I wonder if you'd like to calculate the volume of this pyramid. We can measure its base and its height and its height and determine its volume.